In this lesson, I describe methods of protecting and safely using private and symmetric keys. You can download the script for this video above or at the end of the lesson. Key management is needed to protect and safely use both private keys from key pairs and symmetric keys. Protection of these keys is the only way we can be sure our encryption is uncrackable. We protect keys in various ways, including secure key generation, secure storage in use, and destruction of keys we no longer need. Secure key generation addresses the strength of a key. Key strength is determined by two things, the randomness of the key and the length of the key. As with all cryptography, patterns are bad. This includes capability to guess a key based on previous keys or the key generation method used. Consequently, keys should be generated using a random key generator. This is an example of a 256-bit random key we could use for the AES-256 block cipher. It would take billions of years to crack this key. Even early quantum computers will not be able to crack it in any practical way. Note the complexity of the key. The key is not something we expect users to remember or write down somewhere. One way to protect the key is to generate and store it in a hardware security module, or HSM. An HSM can use a key encryption key, or KEK, to encrypt the key. Access to HSMs is strongly protected, and it enables safe storage and retrieval of keys. Other less sensitive key management can be done with a hardware encrypted USB key, a password management application, or a secrets manager. An example of a secrets management package is available by scanning the QR code. Finally, it's important to have multiple safely secured copies of each key. Loss of a key is the same as loss of the encrypted information. Another popular way of creating and storing keys is the use of a TPM, Trusted Platform Module. Most business computers today have an installed TPM that is capable of generating keys, storing key encryption keys, storing private keys, and storing symmetric encryption keys for local storage. In addition to secure storage, highly classified information may also need a more secure way to use the keys. Three approaches include separation of duties, dual control, and split knowledge. These aren't strictly related to encryption. There are access controls that support encryption and key management efforts. Separation of duties can take two forms when using keys. In the first, the person with access to the key does not also have access to the data. A second form can be used alone or with the first. It's the prevention of any one person from performing all required tasks for a business function. In this example, we prohibit the AP manager from vendor invoices. With dual control, it takes two people to perform a required task. In this example, the AP manager and the VP of accounting have to approve a payment. Notice that this is different than separation of duties which requires more than one person to perform all the tasks. Dual control requires that a single task requires at least two people to perform it. In split knowledge, the key or password to the key is split into multiple pieces. Each piece is secured by a separate person. In this example, Adam and Alice must each provide their half of a key in order to decrypt the data. Like strong passwords, keys should be regularly rotated. Key rotation enables use of multiple keys to encrypt data over time. Key rotation splits highly classified information between different encryption keys. This limits the damage if a key is stolen. A stolen key can only access the data for which it was used for encryption. Another thing to remember is that many users are going to have access to keys 
by simply authenticating to a network or to a system. Consequently, highly classified data keys should be protected by multi-factor authentication. When a key is retired, all instances of it must be securely destroyed. This is also one way to dispose of retired data. Destruction of all related keys is known as cryptographic purge. For a more detailed look at key management, scan the QR code shown. Well, that's it for this lesson. If you have questions, please ask. And until next time, be careful what you click.